My grandfather and mother homesteaded this place around 1912. They started it into patent in 1915. And uh, uh, so it's been in the family. It's the third generation, and hopefully there'll be a generation or two past us or more. If it's planting time, I mean, you, you jump up, you fire up, you, you, you service the equipment, you, you get everything ready to go, and then you, then you spend the day on the tractor, which is good. If, it's, if, we're, if you're done seeding and you're kind of in the gap between haying and plowing down peas, uh, then it's, it's more getting up and just kind of doing maintenance work, you know, making sure things are, are good. Uh, if you're doing service work, you're getting stuff up because when haying starts, you want, you want everything to work. All grain, pick rock. You know, there's always something to be done. One of the first things I noticed when I went to Washington, D.C. is the birds sing all night long because they don't even know it's night, you know, because the lights are gone, <laughs> you know? It's crazy. And uh, out here, like this morning, it started getting light about 4.30, and they start singing, and, and you know, your window's open, and yeah, well. I got about another couple hours sleep and I got to get up, you know. If you come to my office, what you'll see on my desk is a picture of my grandkids and a picture of my tractor. It's, it's about what's important in life, truthfully. I mean, the next generation, why we're here doing this stuff in Washington, D.C. that we do, it's for our kids and our grandkids, and generations and generations out. Washington, D.C. can be somewhat artificial, and there's nothing artificial about the farm. And uh, there's nothing artificial about life either, by the way. So it keeps you connected in that way. I always say that, you know, I've got people that come talk to me all the time and they treat you a certain way because you have Senator in front of your name. Tracker don't give a damn if you got Senator in front of your name. It'll break down when it wants to break down, you know? And, uh, and so it keeps it real. Being on the farm rejuvenates me. It's the open space, the quiet, and the physically demanding work. It's getting my hands dirty and a little beat up. It's home. I'm John Tester, a third generation farmer from North Central Montana. And I'm also a United States Senator.